Okay, so this is Fanta Cassis. I seem to be drinking a lot of Coca-Cola and Fanta. Well, I'm only drinking weird offshoots and there are plenty of them. Uh, so much so that there's no way in hell I'm going to be able to get through all of them. Uh, a lot of Monster, a lot of uh, Red Bull-like flavors. Anyway, so this is Fanta. Fanta is a drink that came out of World War II in Germany and I guess it had enough fans that it had a revival and this is a flavor I've never heard of uh, over in Japan anyway, Cassis, Kashisu. It's kind of a, I don't know, like a happily grape-like fruit, I guess. Man, you guys in your really beat up cans. Anyway, um, I can probably splash some of the ingredients on screen, but it's in a foreign language that I'm not going to bother to try to translate here. All right, anyway. That's really red. Like, I don't know if it's coming out on camera, but it's super red. <laughs> I'm not getting any particular... Oh, wow. Up at the nose, it's... I'd say it's almost a uh, tropical fruit in smell. Like uh, a fruit punch kind of smell. Um, okay, I don't know where to put this. Uh, so when I was uh, younger and living in the US, they had these uh, wine coolers. Uh, they are alcoholic. Uh, they're fruit flavored and they are carbonated but uh, you know all the adults can't have all the fun so they came out with kidder versions that had no alcohol in them but they were basically uh, a fruit flavor uh, a carbonated fruit flavor like uh, something tart so this almost tastes like cranberry uh, cassis in general tends to taste similar to cranberry but it's like a, a less drying cranberry that's cut with soda um, Quite refreshing. Uh, it's unfortunate. This is probably the only drink that I've had here that I think it's unfortunate that I won't be able to drink it again. The rest were all kind of meh. I can live without them, I guess. Yeah, so if you can find Fanta Cassis, uh, go nuts, because I thoroughly recommend it. All right, till next time, the drink's on me.